Chances are you put your recycling on the curb every week, right? Like a good citizen, sorting your trash, different colored bins, the arrows, the markings on the packaging, and the public shaming from neighbors or strangers if you don't recycle correctly or even at all. But guess what? A new report now claims recycling plastic doesn't even work. And they say the plastics industry has been lying to us about it for years. The report by the Center for Climate Integrity called The Fraud of Plastic Recycling finds, quote, despite decades of industry promises, plastic recycling has failed to become a reality due to long known technical and economic limitations. Most importantly, the report shows the vast majority of plastics cannot even be recycled, meaning they can't be collected, processed, and made into new products like we have all been promised. It also estimates that we all ingest up to five grams of plastic a week. It's like a credit card in plastic a week. Authors of the report are accusing the plastics industry of engaging in a fraudulent marketing and public education campaign to deceive people about the benefits of recycling. They say their campaigns of deception are similar to big tobacco, oil, and opioids, writing in part, when corporations and trade groups know that their products pose grave threats to society and then lie to the public and policymakers about it, they must be held accountable. Accountability means stopping the lying, telling the truth, and paying for the damage they've caused. The plastic industry fired back, saying in part, quote, this report was created by an activist anti-recycling organization and disregards the incredible investments in recycling technologies made by our industry. Unfortunately, they use outdated information and false claims to continue to mislead the public about recycling. Joining us now is Richard Wiles. He is the president for the Center for Climate Integrity, who conducted the fraud report here. Thanks very much for coming on the program. Appreciate it. So just so we understand this, you're, just, you're saying to us that recycling of plastics just doesn't work at all? Well, what we're saying is that it's been a deliberate deception on the part of the oil and petrochemical industry to expand their market, right? The maximum amount of recycling that was ever achieved in the past 40 years was around 9% of plastics. Right now, the EPA estimates were at about 5%. So, yeah, what we're saying is that the oil and chemical industry who make plastics knew all along that there was no market uh, for recycled plastic because it's of poorer quality than virgin plastic and is more expensive. So they knew there was no market for a product that's worse and more expensive. But in order to expand the market, they just, you know, propagated the myth of recycling. And it just sounds so good, right? Don't we all wish sounds that great. it were? I love the idea. Yeah. I always feel that's good right. when I'm separating it out, right. right? Every time I feel like I'm doing the right yeah. thing. Exactly. But, you know, so we all did that, right? And they misled communities. They spent tens of millions of dollars on basically performative demonstration recycling projects. Every time a state, you know, decided they might ban a plastic bag or whatever, they would, you know, launch some kind of recycling initiative. And as soon as the pressure, uh, you know, was alleviated, the, all of those projects that they started, they all went out of business because as they said themselves, again, you got to be, want to be clear here, this report is based entirely on internal industry documents where they're saying things about recycling like it's virtually hopeless or it, you know, a plastics recycling or it'll never solve the solid waste problem. So yeah, they've known for 40 years. It was very successful, obviously, we all do it. Um, and you know, it's led to this massive global contamination uh, with plastics in the oceans and in people and in the rain and snow, it's everywhere. But what do you make of their response, which is that basically you're using outdated, decades-old technologies, et cetera, to criticize the industry? Yeah, what I would say to that is that I, I need a little more from an industry that's lied to us for 40 years than just saying basically, trust me now. You know, I lied to you for four decades, but we have this secret new thing that no one understands, but just trust us, it's new technology. Because the thing is, it's not new technology, right? They call it advanced recycling, their latest pitch here. Uh, it's a 50-year-old technology that has not really changed much. It, and the problem is it's the fundamental physics of it. It's the fundamental chemical mm -hmm. dynamics. Those don't change, right? When you try to melt down plastics or put it into some heat process, you just get a crappier product out the other end that there's no market for. And that's still the case, always was the case. And you know that's where we are today. So, Richard, are you telling me that I shouldn't even bother? There are two items that can be sort of recycled. 
Okay. Uh, maybe 25% are recycled. And that would be your plastic water bottle and maybe your milk jug. Everything else that you, you know, when you go to the store, all the food packaging items, the candy wrappers, the stuff you get your chicken and everything, none of it's recyclable. So yeah, you might as well throw it in the trash because there's no market for it, never has been. Except for those two things. You've given me at least some hope that I haven't been wasting sure. all of my time. Right. The water bottles. Right, you've only been wasting most of your time. Exactly, like me, you know, we've all been doing it. Right, right. Um, and, and this doesn't mean they're going to stop giving out fines, for example, here in New York City. First offense, 25 bucks. Second offense, 50 bucks. Third offense, 100 bucks. Um, and uh, they, it goes up from there. They're not going to stop doing that, right? Yeah, you know, I don't know what New York's going to do. But the, the, the issue is, it used to be, do you remember back in the day, there was, uh, you know, that phrase, reduce, reuse, and recycle? Yes. Yeah. That's still what we need to do, right? We need to do all three. You need to reduce mm. the production of plastics. That's the first thing. We need to reuse everything that we can, get back to reusable containers. Yep. And then when you're all done with that, recycle what you can. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.